Hi guys, welcome to my channel, All About YouTubers 13. Today we're dealing with Armchair Detective. It's been a few, like, you know, in the last week I've only been able to do a few videos. I brought a new laptop, which is, you know, I saved up. People did help me. Well, it's not brand new, to be honest with you. It's second hand, but it's more powerful than what it was. Then I've gone to plug my microphone in. And microphone, do you know, the, the pin end, like the old iPhones, I've gone to, I mean earphones are going to plug that in my laptop there's actually no pin uh, port it's a USB so everything's messed up I've got to get a, a microphone so it's like you know one thing after the other but at least it's kind of like the last thing but I'm at my wits end if I'm gonna get one I've got to do it properly if you can help please pay for in the description I should be all right then for the equipment but I'm Chair Detective. Before that, I just want to say please like and subscribe. Thank you to my donators in the past and Angela Cook. Thank you again. If you can help, I'll thank you on screen right now. Now, I'm Chair Detective. He's now gone from uh, Chris Watts to the Brian, well, Gabby Petito, aka Gabriel Petito, or the other way around, Gabriel, aka Gabby, Brian Laundre. And he's. he's brought out some breaking news regarding Brian which turned out not to be the case and Grumpy Granny actually covered this and I like to basically take information off other people's channels you know they don't seem to mind rather than ADs itself plus I like to change it so it's like uh, you know so, so he can't claim on it I like to cover my ways and section it off you know how I do it how I do my editing but I'm gonna start off with the with the ending with what grumpy granny said at the end and then we're kind of make sense of what she said because she kind of encapsulates you know summarizes it in a good way having said all that let's get on with it um that's 20 minutes i can't do any longer okay let's just say alan's jumped the gun and decided that there are accomplices and they're probably by tomorrow there'll be shadows and he'll have an insider and brian laundry will be sending him coded messages um yeah so there you go there's just yet another example of alan being a complete prat uh getting stuff wrong having zero investigative skills lying twice in the space of 15 minutes and uh just jumping the gun and generally getting things wrong and women throwing money at him i used to feel sorry for the women now i don't i've just decided they're stupid and they can't be helped hopefully one day they'll stumble across one of our videos and put the pieces together for themselves as the highly capable women that i'm sure they are deep down inside and free themselves from the clutches of this scammer well there you see the summing up by grumpy granny and now you're gonna see what she was actually actually referring to but as per usual ad in his own words hi guys my name is alan and i am the armchair detective it's not often this happens but i think we're first off the press now i've got to say this is unconfirmed and confirmed 8.7 seconds into it and he's already started started off with his first contradiction this is confirmed and unconfirmed unconfirmed and confirmed what which one is it you know 8.7 seconds into it and his first first contradiction already he's already pulling an ad more to come we have a report that brian laundry has been found by the police in canada ontario why am I coming on live to tell you this now? Because we've checked it out. We don't just go, oh, there's a rumor. Oh no, this is much more than a rumor. We think we're breaking the story as far as YouTube goes and mainstream media. It's been reported on TikTok. And there you go again, another 12 seconds into it, his second contradiction. So he's now saying breaking news is the first one to report it on mainstream media. Yeah, he got it off TikTok. What? So he's took it off mainstream media, brought it on mainstream media, and saying he's the first, even though he's referring that he got it off main. This is crazy, and this is just the start. 
Anyway, what started off this embarrassing fiasco is this recording here, apparently to do with the police. Somebody phoned the police reporting a, a Brian a Brian Landre sight in his car, yet unconfirmed. To me, it just sound, it don't sound real at all because it don't make sense if you think about it and put it all together. Have a listen. <laughs> So that's it, just that. There's no reason to believe really that that's Brian Laundry. You know, it don't even, like, it's not even out there that he's got a rental car or a, what rental car it is. It's just somebody, if this is real, which it kind of don't make sense to me, it could be, but I don't think it is, but it's a possibility. There's plenty of people phoning the police saying, I'll be believed we've seen Brian Laundry. Now, Armchair Detectives has took this, this little recording there now, as gospel, and he's gonna now base everything on that, and this is where it gets doodly, this is where it got, gets comical, and this is where it just goes on one. And with what resulted in, you know, Grumpy Granny summing up the way she did. did you would just come on and tell it. you, like, oh, well, no. You did? Check that the dispatcher. We've checked out the car. Did now, I'm not saying I'm the first one to break this. My opinion, the armchair detective is breaking this to the world. Now, I'm not saying I'm the first one to break this. It's breaking this to the world. Now, I'm not saying I'm the first one to break this. It's breaking this to the world. I'm not the first one to break this. Straight away, I'm breaking this to the world. I'm not the first one to break this. I'm breaking this to the world. You know, I'm not the first one to bring this on mainstream media. Yeah, I'm bringing this from the first to be the one bringing it on mainstream media. Yeah, I got it off TikTok. It's just one big contradiction. He's pulling an AD all over again. Somebody even left the comments. And this quick reaction, you know, is get lost. Now, where have we heard that before? Isn't it the same time when I left the comments, when I asked the question too, and he said to me, get lost. Full sarcasm. Get lost, Cora, get lost. This isn't a place for jokes and, and sarcasm. Can I challenge your evidence in front of your subscribers? Get lost. Fair is fair. Get lost. Cara, get lost. Get lost. Cara, get lost. Get lost. Cara, get lost. Get lost. And that is his get to response. The very first thing he says to anyone questioning him, anybody asking a question, straight away it's get lost you know and it and he says it in a kind of an anger way and he says the words like uh, you wouldn't know the truth if it slapped you in the face to even use them words i said it before it just shows where his head is and the assumptions now he goes on another one now where he thinks it's the you know the family are involved the canada listen to this <laughs> Did you would just come on and it. tell you like, oh well, no. You did. Check out the dispatcher. We've checked out the car. I've constructed this in my mind. Mainstream media are in the pockets of the police. They will do what they're told. I won't. I want the people that are out there to know that Brian Laundry is in Ontario, Canada. You are delusional. And driving a, a rental car, a Ford Edge, 2020 Ford Edge. I've constructed this in my mind. Mainstream media are in the pockets of the police. They will do what they're told. If you're in that area, look out your window. Is there roadblocks? Do you see Find a 2020 him. Ford Edge vehicle? Wow, he's asking the country of Canada <laughs> to look out the window and if they see roadblocks, which at any given time there's probably thousands of roadblocks, 
Then to report it, it means Brian Laundre is there. Not only that, if you see a specific car, it's Brian Laundre. There's going to be hundreds of thousands, at least tens of thousands of the cars. The same car, same colour, same make, model, you name it, plus Roblox at any given time. So he's making an assumption, and off that assumption, he's now giving out, like, you know, messages to the whole account. Is he for real? You did. Check that dispatcher. We've checked out the car. I've confirmed that it's Brian Laundry. A report that Brian Laundry has been found. I've constructed this in my mind. I'm not giving you fake news. We have a report that Brian Laundry has been found. I've constructed this in my mind. We have a report that Brian Laundry has been found. I'm not giving you fake news. It's genuine. We now know that Brian Laundry is found in Ontario. I can confirm that with a second before mainstream media, before the police. Now, I've got to say this is unconfirmed and confirmed. That's 20 minutes I can't do any longer. Okay, let's just say Alan's jumped the gun and decided that there are accomplices and they're probably by tomorrow there'll be shadows and he'll have an insider and Brian Laundry will be sending him coded messages. Um, yeah, so there you go. There's just yet another example of Alan being a complete prat, uh, getting stuff wrong, having zero investigative skills, lying twice in the space of 15 minutes, and uh, just jumping the gun and generally getting things wrong, and women throwing money at him. I used to feel sorry for the women, now I don't. I've just decided they're stupid and they can't be helped. Hopefully one day they'll stumble across one of our videos and put the pieces together for themselves as the highly capable women that I'm sure they are deep down inside. I thought we'd end up where we started off with Grumpy Granny actually saying what she said, summing it up. There was more for me to show, but I thought I know that he's going to go into his great conspiracies if his channel don't get shut down in the next couple of days, which apparently it should be. But we'll see. So I didn't want to use all the data or the info what I got to show. But that was just some of it there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. I'm trying to get this microphone. If you can, please help. Donate. PayPal in the description. Thank you for everyone else who in the past. I didn't realise I'd be having to do this with the mic. So hopefully this will just be a one-off for my last equipment. If you can help now. Thank you. You all take care. Catch you on the rebound. Bye. Dum dum dum. Stum, dum dum, stum dum, stum dum, dum.